Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to this content. Also, feel free to comment on my other channel, Mind Right Botanicals, and also tap that bell notification button so you'll be alerted whenever I post. Let's hop into this next download. There's something about a tree. The tree as a symbol. Someone has the tree as a symbol on their body. This person is very significant to you, whoever I'm picking up on. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants you to know about this person. This person has something like that. That's why I decided I wanted to use these cards. Let's just see what images we pick up on off the cards, but I'm telling you, it's some sort of tree design on this person. Let's see what we need to know, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do you want us to know about this download that I received from you through me, Holy Spirit? What is the insight <clears throat> and the guidance that you have for us at this time regarding this image of Holy Spirit? What do we need to know here? What is the message for the collective? Message for the collective. Shoot. Strength. I was just looking at the wolf on this card. That's who that is. You see how he's got that tattoo almost? That symbol on his head? This person has some sort of tree vine design on them somewhere prominently possibly on their chest or their back. This is the energy that I'm picking up on. They could be a Leo. But they in the Five of Swords. Why, Holy Spirit? <clears throat> Four of Swords. Because you won't sit down whoever you are. They've been trying to sit you down. They've been trying to do it telepathically. Because I just see how this rainbow is shining down on this person's head that's laying down. It's like he's possibly even collaborated with people to try to sit you down, to put you in some sort of recovery mode, to make you resign from what you're doing, okay? But I don't think you have, okay? This is judgment here. And I feel like this person and those people on that card, all four of them are up under some sort of judgment. It's four people on this card. They all are Connected, they all have a cord, some sort of spiritual tie from what they tried to do to you. Okay? <clears throat> but I feel like this strength energy is not giving up. They still want to do it. This is the second group I done picked up on, but this is a different group than that other group. <clears throat> the water sign was leading that group. This group is doing a lot of magic too this Leo specifically he trying to make his dreams come true that's what Stevie Wonder just said on the song and Nine of Cups was on the bottom maybe he can get some sort of wealth or success some sort of stability if he can conquer you triumph over you whoever you are okay but they up under judgment for their attempts it's two nines back to back. Something is about to be reset in this Leo King of Pentacles life. If he continues to follow through with what he's been planning with this two of wands. Okay. But he's not, I don't think he's in the King of Pentacles nine of cups yet. That's what he's striving to achieve. If he can fuck with your mind somehow. Because I see that same rainbow behind him on this Nine of Cups card. If this man can affect your psyche and make you 
stop doing something, then he's going to achieve a Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles. But so far, all he's gotten is a Five of Swords, Judgment, Nine of Wands. But he's sure that if he follows through with this Two of Wands, he's going to celebrate Three of Cups, okay? <clears throat> so, I don't know, child. I'm so... Why, why are we talking about this, Holy Spirit? Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> because he's putting in work like... The spell work is crazy. The amount of spell work I'm picking up on is weird. It's weird, dog. It is weird. The lack of self-confidence that people have to believe that every move they make has to be stipulated by a spell. It's time for a pivotal change, 555. And something is going to happen. Hangman, five of wands, death, 10 of wands. Okay, that's that's the future with this three of wands. That's what the future holds. I feel like this Leo has already been shown that. <clears throat> but ain't nobody having to come tell him like somebody was trying to tell that water sign and that other reading that King of Cups. He already know. He already been shown. He's already got some indication of how it can go. He can either have a victory or he can be triumphed over. It's one of the two. And so far, whoever you are, you've been triumphing over this man. These people that are up on three other people that are up under judgment with him currently. I don't feel like they're participating in this. This next attempt, this final attempt, seven of swords that he has up under his sleeve. For some reason, I feel like they're not involved. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Like, <clears throat> this is the, hmm, this is the Page of Pentacles. These energies have already seen what his plans, his goals have gotten them. Because I'm telling you, they were all with it at one point, but they created that spiritual cord. It's a court that they got to cut with this man. But they they created a spiritual tie with all this page of pinnacle spell work that they sent out together, eight of wands. Okay? So, I'm not picking up. These women want to be free of that. That's what I'm seeing here. We've got the fool. They don't want to be a part of this anymore because they see what it brings. They see the type of judgment that they are placed under as a result of doing what they did. So they just want to move on. They don't want no parts, okay? But I feel like some of these people may have been doing this because of a, rep a romantic proposal of some kind that this masculine made to them. Okay, that's how he was able to utilize their energy and pull them into this plot against you. But hell, they as a as a result of doing this work, <clears throat> it could be three women. But as a result of doing this work, they was in the hangman, five of wands, death with the ten of wands, child. That was enough for them to learn their lesson, and these women. If it's three women, these three energies, whoever they are, they're in the six of swords, three of swords with the eight of cups, okay? And the ace of wands behind that. Truly have a new perspective on life, truly are going in another direction, trying to start over and rebuild even for some of them. Because if you at the ten of wands, you know, you at, you down to... <clears throat> your last, whether that's financially, spiritually, emotionally, like you have exhausted all efforts in that direction and it's time to do something different, okay? You have a different future in mind. So this, this Leo, this strength energy here, he's taking authority all on his own in this situation with this emperor card here he's he's taking charge he's he's doing it all on his own okay
Actually, I think this is the Hermit card. Let me double check. But I think that is the Hermit card because of the lantern. But it's finna have his ass in the tower. Whatever he finna try to sneak and do to try to achieve a victory over her. Because whether it's the, it's the Hermit card. He's trying to do something. He feels like he figured out what's going to finally allow him to have a victory over whoever you are. But it's going to cause a tower for him. Towers falling right up under the seven of swords. Because whoever you are, you could be a high priestess, queen of cups. You are love and light. You are a divine feminine. Whatever he feels he has discovered to beat you with, he doesn't know the secrets that you possess. The power within you. What you know how to counteract. Okay, it's like, I don't know, you can have Scorpio on your chart too, but I you're about to bring a tower to this man once again. This ain't his first tower he didn't experience by playing with you and in your energy, and he's about to experience another tower again. Okay, it's like you see him coming, Page of Swords, Page of Swords with the Ten of Cups. You see what the future holds. You see how this man is trying to disrupt your positive future. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. You know what the plan is. You, Whoever I'm picking up on, you've already peeped this Leo. You know you have peeped this Leo spiritually. Okay? This ain't nobody you know personally, I don't think. Clarify, but you know them spiritually. You know what they've been up to. Six of Pentacles. Hmm. 12, 12. So this may, you know what I just heard? You know what I just heard? This is a karmic soulmate of somebody's who is disguising their energy. They're pulling from another aspect of their birth chart. You know them as another zodiac sign. You don't know them as a Leo. They're disguising their energy as a Leo. That's what I just heard. Let me get another deck. <clears throat> I did just hear that. But you know them. You done picked up on them. Three of Wands. Clarify, Holy Spirit, what I'm picking up on, please and thank you. They've got some sort of tree symbol on their body somewhere. It's vines. It looks like a cluster of vines or branches or something like that it's a tattoo on them maybe you haven't seen it because i was getting the back so i don't know maybe you've seen this person's back maybe this is a new tattoo that they have okay i don't know but they got this tattoo here that i'm picking up on whoever this leo is clarify holy spirit please and thank you is this somebody that this queen of cups already knows holy spirit is this someone that she's had a relationship with nine of swords tried to come out six of cups okay so this could very well be a karmic soulmate someone that you were giving to and receiving from at one point but they were breadcrumbing you they were breadcrumbing you and You, five of cups, I don't think you, king of wands, disappointed in who this Leo turned out to be, but they a water sign too. They got water, they're, they're, you know them as a water sign, I think. That's what I'm getting here, okay? And they've been popping up in your energy, knight of wands, as this fire sign Leo vibe. Strength, y'all, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. With this hierophant, I'm trying to give you that math. I'm trying to let you know what's going on. Holy Spirit, I be trying to tell him. He's, he's learned how to shift his energy in such a way that you don't recognize him spiritually. But what's really like tripping me out here is this adamance that he take you down 
Like how how did y'all go from a six of pentacles even? Cause that was still some sort of reciprocity, even if one was given more than the other. How did y'all go from that to enemies? Cause he came out as a strength five of swords against you. He wants you to go sit down somewhere. But what's the plan after you sit down? Clarify, Holy Spirit, because I'm not understanding why he's so adamant of sitting you down. If he don't fuck with you no more. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you don't fuck with a bride no more, you ain't trying to affect her life and what moves she make. Page of Cups. But that's why. Because he want to make amends with you. But you're going to have to sit down first. That's what he's saying. So whatever you're currently doing, this Leo in disguise has a problem with it. What else? But see, then we back to the, the energies he utilized to go against you to sit you down. You know, what of them? Like, so you're supposed to look what was on the bottom now. Because my thing is, he was obviously giving Page of Cups to these other energies, whether it was romantic or otherwise, for them to work with him against you. That's why they done moved on, because it ain't worth it to them. So is he only, like, I don't get it. Like, were you supposed to sit down? If they were successful, were you supposed to sit down and these other women were going to just be sitting down around? Y'all was all going to be sitting in a circle. Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to understand what the motive is here. Because now I'm, it's like, that, you know, that break you down to try to build you up type of vibe. Because this way he was trying to come with hermit. So this masculine could have Virgo somewhere prominently in his chart. He came out here twice as the hermit card. And he came out as the king of pentacles. That's his, his hope. So maybe he's trying to be a king of pentacles to her. I don't know. I, I be trying to understand it. But you know. That's what I'm getting here. That's what's coming out. That's what the energy is for Cups, King of Swords. But it's just not going to pan out the way that he thinks it is. And the Ten of Wands is about where he at. This is where he should already be. The people he keep in company with, they, they are there. But it's like he refuses to accept the fact that this is where he is as well because... This plan is not going to work. I don't know what it is exactly that he got up under his sleeve with this hermit out here twice. But the universe is not accepting it. Your love opportunity will come from somewhere else. Your divine opportunity will come from somewhere else. This is a karmic soulmate. This is somebody I feel. And just keep it real now that had a choice when it came to you and they chose to be a karmic to you instead of a divine counterpart because they couldn't control how you operated and what you were willing to accept from them. You wanted more than a six of pentacles. Anything else here, Holy Spirit? Anything else we need to know? Let's see what this is. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. So now he's trying to mess with your mind state and get you to feel like what you have been putting some sort of long-term effort into is not going to get you the results that you want. But that's an illusion. This man, like say you started a business. If you feel like your business isn't doing as good as it's been doing, that's because this man is trying to manipulate what's happening with whatever your function is so that you can lay it to rest so that you can stop doing it and then he gonna come in with some sort of page of cups offer that's the plan these other women were pawns so it's good that they moved on because i'm seeing yeah, I'm trying to tell you they was pawns. It's good. They were sacrifices. He was willing to sacrifice them if that was what he needed to do to get you. 
to put you down, to sit your ass down somewhere so he could come in and and rescue you. And that, that was a theme for a lot of folks, to put you here so they could come in and rescue you with this Ace of Swords to create some sort of victory for you. That was the secret. That was the plan to use some sort of esoteric spiritual knowledge to fuck you up. Look at what came out now. Because their, their obsession and desire for a love affair with you is so strong that they just can't come with a straight up proposal. They got to do this first and then come in with that. This is somebody who's still on that type of energy. And look where it has gotten them. Okay, so whoever you are, You know, it's fool me once, but don't fool me twice. I ain't going to let you fool me twice, seven of wands, because I know you own this type of crap. And I have transitioned away from this 2112 a long time ago. That's your vibe, whoever I'm picking up on. But that's who this Leo is. This Leo is, is really, uh, he got Virgo somewhere prominently in his chart. He, he's a water sign too and he figured out how to shift his energy so that you don't pick up on him spiritually anything else Holy Spirit and we gonna close mm. anything else here please and thank you this man that went it's something about this tattoo we're going to clarify that before we close. Page of Pentacles, because it's some sort of goal or something that he's going to be able to achieve. That tattoo is symbolic. And you know what I just see? I see on this face, the ancestors are watching this, Leo, because I see a face in this cloud. Child, I'm trying to tell you now, I know somebody see that face. I know somebody see that face right there in that cloud. Okay, I don't know. I know what I'm seeing. But the ancestors are watching this Leo off the gate. They watching him and what he's been doing against you spiritually. He's really been trying to have some effect on your mind, make you feel like you aren't doing the right thing. Things aren't working out for you, trying to make you feel depressed and sad even, unworthy, unlovable. They see him. They see him now. That threw me off because hell, I done forgot what I was finna try to find out. <laughs> Job tried to tell you he fucking with her mind something terrible, but the the um universe see him and this last thing he doing, that shit finna backfire. But oh, see, that damn tree symbol. Clarify, Holy Spirit. It's something he done became a part of, and he gotta take some sort of action to complete whatever the fuck. Yup, Knight of Swords Chariot. In order to get this Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, he got to conquer you. You may be his his final sacrifice of some kind because he didn't already sacrifice these other three energies. He didn't already let them be placed on the chopping block. Now he just got to do you somehow. Four of Wands to the world. So can we get clarity on that? You the ideal choice. You're going to get him whatever he's trying to get in relation to this tree energy. Clarify, please, and thank you. And we're going to close. Page of Wands, King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Some Something he a part of, child. Three of Wands. And they told him that this is what he got to do. He got to find somebody who can... Bring bring in that energy that they need. He got to have what he need to be a part of them. And how he going to get what he need is through you. That's what he done said. I ain't saying this group told him to pick you. He decided that. That's what I'm getting. They told him what he need. And he, he figured you got it. Okay? To make his future bright. But it ain't been working out like that. So he should know that your energy hit different in a way that's not going to allow him to do what he's trying to do in order to achieve this. Okay? 
And I'm going to drop the mic there. Because, baby, he trying to restrict you, but he only restricted himself. I'm telling you. But I digress. I hope this message helped someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. Continue to stay strong, y'all. Continue to protect your energy. Just continue to ask God to watch and keep over you. Even when you ain't got time. Because who got time every second you pick up on some crap to be trying to do some return to senders? That's a lack of faith. 2024 is about getting stronger in your faith. This is the year of abundance. I picked that up. I'm going to do a reading on that too. On uh, a message I got for 2024. But you have to have stronger faith. And believe in what you are professing that you believe in. And if you truly believe in it, then you will, you will know that God got you. He got you for those things that you can't pick up on. So why wouldn't he have you for those things that you can't pick up on if you've already asked him to watch and keep over you and protect you and your own? Why wouldn't he not do that? Okay, so just, you know, keep that in mind and work on building your faith and trust in God that he got you if you're doing what you're supposed to do. But if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, y'all, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.